Ringo If you could have written any song What do you think it would have been? Any song Well Ringo, I really like something by our George How does that one go? Well I'm playing it Ringo That sounds just like your song Hello, 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 and welcome back. Louis E.D., Guitar of the Week, number three on the toit. So, I uh, hope you've checked out the other blogs. Um, if you haven't, uh, you can look back into our Facebook history and check out what we've been up to. We've been, that, that was kind of Trumpy, wasn't it, with my hands? We've been up to, he like does ridiculous sign language. It's, maybe it's sign for idiots. Anyway, we're not um, talking about that today. We're talking about guitars. We're talking about this guitar. Now, the reason why I was going on about John Lennon before is because this is the Martin John Lennon D28. It's a beautiful guitar. It's uh, a little bit different to your usual uh, D28. Um, we'll talk about the specs and we'll go into the differences. So we'll start with the top. Uh, this is a solid Sitka spruce top. Uh, it has some other jiggery pokery going along with it uh, called the VTS system. Or no, that would make it the VTSS. So it's just the VTS, which is Vintage Tone System. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about that later on. Uh, now underneath the lovely solid Sitka spruce top, we have some rear wood shifted bracing. Uh, what that means is that the cross bracing under here is moved slightly to the bottom of the guitar, which tightens up this lower bout and uh, makes for a punchier bottom end. Tightens up the, the, the lower bout, the top can't sort of fluctuate and resonate as much uh, as normal uh, cross bracing or forward shifted which allows the bout to move a lot more. Uh, so we've got some rearward shifted bracing. On the sides we've got solid East Indian rosewood and uh, we've got that on the back and the back is a, a little bit of a ta-da moment so um, if I could have a drum roll please. <laughs> Peace man, um, we all know that uh, John Lennon was a purveyor of peace, love and happiness. Um, so Martin have uh, gone to great lengths to uh, create um, a peace sign on the back, which does look really, really cool. Um, don't be fooled, it's not a uh, one, two, three, four piece back. Well, at least I don't think it is. Uh, I think it's just a, a two piece back. Um, uh, it's, it's a beautiful addition. Um, we've got a solid mahogany neck. Um, on the top, uh, we've got ebony fingerboard, we've got ebony saddle, bone, uh, bridge saddle, bone nut. Um, the headstock looks a little bit different. Um, it has a more vintage rounding on it. Um, this is something that the um, Martin company used to do in the 50s. Uh, so they've gone back to it. Uh, for the John Lennon model um, and I don't know whether you can see from there I'm going to move it in closer but we've got the um, the classic uh, self-portrait of John Lennon on there I don't know whether that's in the middle of the screen or not but we'll give that a yell give that a go give it a yell hey yo um, yeah so oh one other thing that we've got here uh, is some really really cool inlays we've got a moon We've got a star, we've got a sun, and we've got his glasses on the 12th fret. So when you're up here, you'll really know 
uh, where you're at. Um, so, oh, it's also numbered. Now this is looking inside here. Hello, John, can you hear me, John? No, in here we've got uh, number 101. Now this is hanging up on our wall. That's, uh, that's the 101st one they've ever made. They did make a 75th anniversary John Lennon model, which was only limited to about 75. Um, and this, this one is in production. But yeah, we've got the 101st uh, one that was ever made. So she's a wee sweetie. Um, so a little bit the v about the vintage tone system. It's a torrefaction technique. What's torrefaction, you say? Is that about the government? No, it's not about the Tories. Um, but it's a way of drying the wood to get a vintage sound. Everybody picks up old guitars and go and, and, and says, man, that's really worn in. You know, that's so woody, they say. Or, you know, any guitar from the 60s or 70s genuinely, genuinely sounds probably a lot better than something that's straight off the box, uh, out of the box. So what Torrefaction does it's a thermochemical treatment of the wood uh, at high temperatures. Um, you know, it's controlled toasting, really. Um, and it sort of just stabilizes the wood so that it, uh, it sounds older. And, um, you know, they don't dry it out too much. If you dry it out too much, you, you, you know, you, you lose the color of the wood. Um, other companies do it um, and they kind of, they be toasting a little bit too much, man. And, um, and they have these really pale tops and they don't quite look quite right. Um, and another thing um, that is involved in the VTS um, swing of things is um, hand spraying um, the final stages or hand dressing the final stages of the lacquer as opposed to just doing it all on machine and uh, you know laying it on really thick. Um, all in all, Martin don't really tell us too much about what is involved in the VTS system. It's it's a bit of voodoo, I guess. Um, they don't want to share it too much. But um, yeah, this is something that they do to some of their other guitars. There's a big list of the guitars that they do this with on their website. Um, you can check them out there. But um, for now, um, yeah, this is the uh, John Lennon D28. I guess we've got to see what it sounds like with the theme song, right? Because that's what we do. Lou, no wrong key. Lou is CD, guitar of the week. Whoa! Hey, thanks for stopping by again. Don't, uh, don't be shy. Come by. 75 Great South Road in Epsom. Uh, you know, give us a share on Facebook. Always say hi in the comments. We'd love to hear what you're thinking, what you think about these segments. Um, and uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks for our next uh, Lewis Eady Guitar of the Week. Thanks for having us.